streets, eat tastily, and also bus on the other side. And if they need to escape from predators, what they will do is that they will jump into the water from green up there. And green iguanas, you can see, they are excellent swimmers as they can hold their breath underwater for 30 minutes. So sometimes you can hold their breath underwater for 30 minutes. No, I can't. They're not good eye. But for those who do not know, reptiles like the big green iguana, they have three eyes. And their third eye are located at the top of their head, the small white one. It doesn't function like a normal eye, but it is a sensory organ that helps them to send for shadows coming from above, like hawks and also eagles. And his fight needs to defend himself, he can use his tail as a weapon. It is so short that it gives us one big nasty uh, cut. That's right, Santos. Uh, yeah, you put him on the boulder over there safely, stop holding on to his tail. And since Spike is the first animal out here, how about a round of applause for Spike? So, let me ask all of you a question. Do you know what we do? Do you know what we Korean just do? Do you know what we do? Do you know? Do you understand what I'm saying? Santos! Yes? Good news! If you don't know what we do, I see you research. Ah, okay, good excuse. Let me remind all of you what we do is that we learn about the animals, the environment that they live in, and we protect them from harm. It's a very big job for all of us, so we are always looking for new ecorangers such as kids and adults who really want to make a difference. So, just speaking of water earlier on, and water is also important to us humans, as we can live without food for three weeks, but without water for only three days of time. Sorry, you heard that? Yeah, I did. Why you think I did? Okay. So, okay. the bird that you looking for earlier on, Santos? He found us, actually. Oh, that is Sam, the oriental pipe hornbill, smallest of all Asian hornbills. Showing me, I noticed he has very beautiful eyelashes. And what's the thing about his head? Yeah, that's why hornbills, they have long, sexy eyelashes. But their eyelashes are not hairs like ours. They are modified feathers. And the big thing on top of his head is called a cast. We don't fully understand the purpose of a cast, but it is said it acts like an echo chamber. Maybe they are voices. What else, Antosh? Um, he does have a very big mouth. They have a very big mouth just like yours. <laughs> yeah, so what do they do with their big mouth is that they will pick up big fruits, big seeds. They will drop it into the forest and it will grow into big, beautiful Speaking of big fruits and trees, I have Sam's favorite grape with me. And this is the job for my young ecoranger to help you out. So, some encouragement for everyone. And round of applause for her! She's so brave and so enthusiastic. So, over here, I have Sam's favorite grape. Okay, uh, you can just take a seat first later, I'll call you. Uh, okay, no worries. Okay, then hold on, hold on. Okay, so you just stand right here. When I count to three, you're going to toss it to Sam. Very simple, right? Okay, one, two, three. Toss it. Very nice toss. Okay, a round of applause for Sam and our young people here. Okay, for being so brave and helping us out for this adventure, you deserve a junior Eco Ranger band. Well, thank you. Oh, nicely done by our young Eco Ranger. Very nice. Okay, Santosh. Hawkers have a very unique way of flying, alternating between flapping and soaring. And they love to hop from branch to branch. To demonstrate their behavior, we have Pam, Sam's cousin, who will show us what he does in the wild. So, Santos, you have your branches ready? Yes, my three branches, my three adult volunteers are to use your help right now. Uh, three adult volunteers? My three adult volunteers. Uh, yes, uh, so just do step down and to use your help right now. Alright, let me share with you a little bit about the Hongbyos as they are losing battle of survival due to habitat loss and also overhunting. And one unique species that is the helmeted Hongbyos -hmm. as they are being hunted for their class and critically endangered. They are under the red ivory and it is a very sad story due to human greed but a very good reason for all of us to be eco-rangers starting today. So Santosh, while you get ready, back to you. Almost there. Almost there. Oh, okay. Wait for my one more branch. Okay, in the meantime, everyone, would you like to see them jump from branch to branch? <laughs> yes or no? Like to see them jump from branch to branch? Anytime, Ben, when you're ready, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Very nice. 
That's really quick, right? One more time. Okay, much better. Let's go, Ben. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Very nice. Okay, please run for four for Ben. And I'll be a dog volunteer. Okay, don't go away just yet. You all deserve junior eco ranger badges. So one for you, one for you, and one for you, Ben. Nice bit of our work of volunteers and also by Ben for showing us what we can do in the world. Uh, Santosh, thank yes. you guys. Yeah, I smell a very strong smell. Do you smell it too? Yeah, speaking about it, yeah, it does smell a bit odd. Yes, and I think I know who that is. That is Tucker, the Asian small cloth otter. As the Asian small cloth otter is the smallest of 13 species of otter in the world. Okay, Tucker over here is a tiny yeah. little feeling of the fishes and yeah. the translations. As you can see right over here, there's found itself a nice cheesy crab. It is known to be called the fisherman's best friend. Always assisting them in their work. Tucker is not easy, very intelligent, he's also very cute. So what he'll do with his cute little nimble paws, he'll find a stone. And from there, smash the crab and enjoy his day. Yeah, that's why it's That's why it's And beside the first big crab, Tucker right here has learned something new. We should to pick up plastic from our water and throw it into this. Oh yes, Chloe had gave me this plastic bottle earlier. So Tucker, can you help me recycle it? Okay, some encouragement for Tucker, everyone. Come on, Tucker, all of you. Very nice. Okay, my last bottle to go, and this time even more encouragement. How was that? Good, man. That's a three-year-old author. If he can recycle, so can we. That's right, Santos. That's a very good message indeed. Uh, Santos, since yes. we're in Asia, how about we move to South America? Okay. 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 Good. Deep in the forest, that little rodent that looks like a giant guinea pig. She's a fast runner, amazing jumper, and a good swimmer. Let us welcome Sarah here. Sarah and Ruby. There she is, making her way nicely down. I heard Sarah, she can jump six feet in the air standing position, spins around and even dash off in the opposite direction. She can even hear nuts and even seeds drop onto the ground from miles away. And over here, I have a Brazilian nut. Let me see if I can break it open. Okay, I can't seem to break it open. But for Sarah, it's not an issue because she has very strong feet and she can break it from better or seconds. And you know, Sarah tends to be very forgetful and greedy at times. So what do you think will happen to all the nuts and seeds that she finds? And she buried them onto the ground and never returned. What do you think will happen to them? That's correct, they'll grow into trees, making Sarah an excellent gardener for the Amazon rainforest. That's right, Santa. So Sarah is back home safely. And now it's your turn to take the next animal out. Okay, okay. So I place the animal in the bushes, take him out from there, and I need everyone to guess what animal that is. The next animal coming out loves to hide in dark places near the water's edge. Eyes that never close, tongue darting in and out, and also love to move from side to side. So what do you think the animal is, everyone? Correct! Very clever, all of you know your animals. So Santa, you find the snake, the snow snake there. It's in a red bag. To land the snake in the red bag, but I'm gonna check the side. Yeah, where else can I put the snake right in my pocket? I can't put the snake in my pocket. Okay, okay. Even if it is afraid or dead. Oh, I have no idea. Alright, so I thought you'd find my red bag. My red bag is not here. No snake, no red bag also. No snake, no red bag. Okay, let me see. We place my strap, red bag. I don't know if I have no red bag. I remember where I might put it. Ah, it's good news. In the audience. <laughs> you have to say in the audience. Yeah, I have the stick in the audience. Everyone help us look for the stick in the audience. I do not know where you wear the stick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, under your seats. Hey, show me, show me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The red bag is here. Where? This is too bad. The lady dog bag, the red color. She didn't even realize she had it. Oh, it's not that. Not that. No, no, no. Wait. Snake bag, snake red bag. Next time, you spot something, is it? Here. Is this your bag? No. Okay, no. That means... Hey, it's my bag. I found the snake bag. Okay. We found the snake bag. Okay, congratulations to us. 
Uh, okay, so Coach, now it's your turn to do your job. I open up the snake bag. You just take the snake out. Show everyone the snake which way it's okay. I take out the snake. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm Josh. You take the snake out. I don't know volunteer. It's my first day. It's a good thing to put on your resume. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Don't, don't shake the bag. Very good, very brave boy. So, it's just a fake snake that we want to match with your snake, but before we bring up the real one, I need everyone not to scream, not to shout, but say wow as loud as you can and then come up here. Ready? One, two, three. Wow. Uh, let us welcome the real snake. That will be Nala, the boy python. Uh, thank you, Fiona. Okay, there she is, Nala, the boy python. Did you know a lot of people have this misconception of fear of snakes thinking they're actually wet and slimy. But due to their glossy scales, they're actually smooth and dry. So do you all believe me? Yes! Wow, okay, one person believe me. So let's put it to a test. This time I need my young volunteer to help me out. Okay, I need you to touch the snake and tell me if it's smooth and dry, alright? So I just pet Nala. Is it smooth and dry? Yes! Smooth and dry, right? Yes! Okay, for a job well done, you deserve a junior eco ranger badge. It will be so great. Okay, that guy should find my one. Very nice. Okay, on, on top of that, did you know actually snakes actually help to contribute to society by controlling pests and other rodent problems? That's really kind of them, right? Okay, a quick question for everyone. Do you think snakes swim? Yes, yes okay, one person only answer me, okay? They do swim, although they may not find it enjoyable, but it's a great escape for predators as they can move easier and faster. So I'm sure Nala has been a great teacher for all of us. Before she go, I do not want anybody to scream or to shout. But when I count to three, everybody must say wow. Right? One, two, three. Wow. Very nice. Thank you, Nala. Thank you, Fiona. Alright, Santos? Yes. Okay, since we are in Africa, but we just stay in Africa, I need everyone, including yourself, Santos, to use your imagination to imagine the water of Nala is a warm, shallow lake, filled with fishes, reeds, and grasses. And if you are lucky enough, you'll be able to stop two bodies of my food. They are here already. There's Luke and Chewy, the great white tentacles. Uh, yes, look over here is our blue green for One Life Ambassador. And Sean, who wants the blue bag here? Uh, that's right. So Luke right here is trying to remind us to use reusable bags instead of plastic bags when we go for shopping so that we save money from just like them in the world. Well, look at Chewy look big, right? Oh, yes. But do you think they're pretty as well? Yes. Okay, quick question for everyone. How many kg do you think Luke and Chewy weigh? How many of you say they are around 20 kilograms raise up your hands? Okay. How about around 30 kilograms raise up your hands? Okay, not bad. Okay, how about more than 40 kilograms raise up your hands? Wow, okay, to the majority, to all of you, I am so sorry to say they only weigh 10 kilograms each. That's right. Okay, so this two uh, big birds, they weigh 10 kilograms each. Well, because they have super boots, at the same time they have insects in their chest area, which allows them to float easily on the surface of the water and to fly high up in the sky. Another unique thing about them is their large magic throat pouches, which can hold up to 13 liters of water. And Santosh, let me give you a test. How many uh, bottles of coke is that? Um, 26 bottles of coke. Lucky, yeah. That's right, very clever. 36 bottles of coke. Uh, Santos, I'm going to leave them here. It looks like Luke is going for a swim. I'm going to head back and you explain the rest of them. Sure. Well, everyone, what do you think? Am I doing a good job on my first day? Okay, thank you. But also be thinking about the corn bales, cookies, dropping seeds and nuts to grow into a healthy rainforest. So I thought of adding another R, which is replant, because I believe it's about time that we should give back to the rainforest instead of taking it away. And shall we finish, shall I introduce our last pair of animals? 
Yes, please. We will introduce them as they are coming down the slope. They are also known as the largest rodent. You know, yes. Coming all the way from the Amazon, we have the largest rodent. Well, introducing our Capybara brothers by the name of Peanut and Mo. They are known to be called the master of glasses and they use their razor sharp teeth to raise up to four kg of glasses a day. You will see they have slightly wet feet as they can walk onto land, water, and as well on these rubber bags. And you see their eyes, their ears, and their nostrils inside their top of the head as you can see what's going on around them, especially underwater. And they can hold their breath up to about 5 minutes. That's right, so these gentle creatures are to remind the really incredible animals that make the Amazon their yeah? home. We hope you remember the challenges that they face every single day just to survive. Each and every one of us can be an equal ranger and play an important part in protecting wildlife and also the environment that we form home to. So let us all stand together and fight the deadliest monster. Uh, and the deadliest monster, do anyone know why it's the deadliest monster in the world today? Plastic, very clever. So just remember, you can't do great things, do small things in great ways such as using reusable bags instead of plastic bags, reusable containers instead of plastic containers, and lastly, do not use straws. If you really need to use straw, why not use a reusable straw just like this one, which is made out of bamboo. With that, we come to the end of our adventure, but before we say goodbye, coming out on the back of the stage of the left hand side of the stage actually, an American beaver goes by the name of Justin Beaver and they are Mother Nature's engineer. So with that, let's go in the ahead, take care and goodbye everyone. So what's going to happen shortly is that there will be a meet and greet session with the Capybara. So for those who wish to pick them, take pictures with them, line up in an orderly manner on my left hand side in the yellow box.